Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to the new video. So basically in this video, we're going to see the problem. Uh, yeah, like usually we have a live contest discussion, but I thought like let's have the individual problems itself. So let's start off with this. Uh, determine if a cell is reachable at a given time. So although all these problems are constructive, which means just look at the examples and just see what can be the HKC and stuff and then just get on with the problem itself. So I highly recommend to just start off with what the problem says, what the examples are uh, and maybe find out if there is any easy, simple way to sort it out, and for sure in this SX, FX coordinates are there, so for sure the basic math is going to be applied, so we can just have that done. Cool. Uh, we are having four integers, SX, SY, FX, FY, just saying, okay, I have a start coordinate, which is SX, SY, and a final coordinate, which is the finish line, which is the finish coordinate, which is FX and FY. So I have a non-negative integer t. So this t says I have to reach from sx sy to fx fy in exactly t seconds. Now that's the prime part which is exactly t seconds. It's not more, it's not less, it's exactly t which means that I have to if I am moving, if I'm starting from start I have to reach at exact t seconds at this particular finish point. Now um, the first basic thing which comes in our mind is that can I meanwhile roam around because it says exactly t seconds. So what if uh, what if I have like I'm I have a like let's say a simple three a, a three cross three grid which is x s x s y and f x f y. So I can just uh, easily go on. Okay, I can just move in all the directions. So I can just easily go on one step and step two and. I will be able to reach this particular point. So you saw, okay, as, as you can say, one, two, three, and four. And we cannot reach in th three seconds. That's one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six seconds. So for sure, uh, if I just ask you, can I reach in exactly two seconds? That's the answer is true. Uh, let's say if I ask you, can I reach in three seconds? One, then you can just go back to or maybe you can just say something else okay one and then two and then three as simple as that so you saw okay i can increase the number of seconds if i just ask you four seconds then you can just you can just do one thing okay go forward go back then again go forward which is the steps uh, like the time has gone three seconds and then the fourth second so you can see okay i can for sure increase my time so let's be more realistic and see the minimum possible time i can reach from this sx to sy if the time let's say i can reach from sx to sy in the least possible time as two seconds so whatsoever time i'm given let's say three four five six and so on and so forth for sure in this exact time i will be able to reach in this last coordinate which is fx xy why because i can just roam around in those itself in those cells itself to actually reach to that final location again so that can be one thing okay but if i ask you hey uh, can we reach from sx f sx sy to fx fy in t equal to one that is for sure not possible because uh, we need minimum two seconds to actually read from this location to this location so that is one case that okay if my time is specifically more more than for sure if if let's say if i can reach from this point to this point in let's say t hash or hash t seconds then if that hash t if this less like less than equal to my given t then for sure for sure i will be able to reach in exactly t seconds from sx sy to fx fy but uh is this always true maybe maybe not uh, what you thought was that i have to do in exactly t seconds which means and and every second i have to i have to do a movement each second you must move to any of its adjacent cells now in each second you must move just see okay what can be the contrary of that must move which means if I am, my starting is this, my ending is also the same. Now I am saying I must move. But let's say if I ask you, I have t equal to one second, then which means I have to for sure move out of this one step. Okay, out of this one step. And that's the problem. If I have moved out in one step, I cannot come back because I have I had just only one step and that is gone. 
Aryan, okay, which means that any time which is t equal to 1, 2, 3, all of them will not be there. No, only t equal to 1 is the condition that, okay, I have to just make this condition as false if my start and end are both the same location. Why? Because as my t equal to 1, which means I can only move one step outwards and not the inside. If I had t equal to 2, then for sure in the next step, I can just move back inside. Again, for t equal to 3, I can just do one thing. I can go down and then in third step, I can just go diagonally up. That's 3. If I just ask you t equal to 4, then again, uh, if it's a 3 cross 3, then go, come, go, come, 4 seconds. So, for sure, it's just t equal to 1 second. And when the start and end locations are exactly the same, exactly the same in, in that case, I will go out of that start location but would never be able to come back because I had only one chance. And that's the only edge case which we have to see and for sure. How we figured this out? By saying because must move is a condition. Now, there can be an edge case for this must move condition, okay? Because I have in every second and I saw, okay, because I can increase the time as much as I can because like if the time was 3, 4, 5, 6, I can just roam around in that in entire grid and I can just spend my time so that I can reach in exactly t seconds at that location. So that was one case. So you saw, okay, how this entire stuff was happening and easily we can just be able to reach my this final cell. And the only condition for must move which we saw which it could not handle was this condition that if my start and end locations are exactly same which means uh, i'll just show you how to know the start and end locations and also the t is exactly one i'm not saying about zero two four or is if it's just one which means if it just moves out and it cannot come back that's the entire class and just uh to say okay aryan uh, you in this told how to find the minimum time to reach from sx sy to fx fy as we saw in the example itself let's say it was the it was the entire grid where we want to find the minimum time so just saying okay the best thing is i have to go in in this x direction and in this y direction right so simply simply uh, as i can go in all the eight directions and the shortest fastest possible path is going diagonally going diagonally so what i will do is i know okay uh, how much diagonally i can go and that will be nothing but how much x and y are equal which means it, it, it can be possible that x is more and y is less but still what is common between both of them both of them has a length of three at least so for sure for three cross three grid i can just diagonally diagonally going i will be inside in this range and what is the extra range extra range is this one so that is how i can okay here you saw that the length was exactly five so the common part the common part was of length three or I can say just I can just also refer this as two steps whatsoever I can just say you can just decrease and accordingly do that but common path length is three this extra path length is two when I say extra I mean okay when the common part is done and when I say common I mean I can move diagonally diagonally is the fastest possible movement although in this you can just also move like this 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 you saw one two three four four steps were taken but if you just move diagonally, that's just two steps taken. And that's how diagonal movement is the fastest movement. So, and I want the minimum possible time because after that time, every time will always be feasible. So I just want minimum possible time. For that minimum possible time, just see, okay, what is the common portion and what's the length of it? Or just you, like you could just say, okay, if it is zero comma zero and uh, like if the length is, if the length X length or the basically X difference, uh, I can just refer it as if the start coordinate is my three comma one and coordinate is seven comma three, sorry. It is S X S Y three comma one and this is seven comma three it's just a coordinates so basically the x difference x difference is actually a four right and you can see one two three and four this is just the x difference of four and y difference is actually of only of two just as a one and two so now we know okay the common portion the common portion between four and two is actually only a two so I can just say, okay, common portion is two, which means I can just fastly, as fast as possible, move just in two steps. I can move as fast as possible because it's a, it's a common portion. And whatsoever remaining is the X because common portion is done. So simply that common portion of X is done. Now the remaining portion for X because X was more. So the remaining portion was of X and that X portion was two. So now I can just move two steps. Now that is two, the common portion plus the extra portion of X, actually two, that's a four. Four is the minimum possible time needed. 
after for any possible time which you have will be for sure feasible to reach to that point uh, if you just look at the code itself it's very easy uh, as we saw we found the x difference we found the y difference and when both are done the condition the only edge, edge case which we need to handle is that if my x difference is zero and y difference is zero which means i am exactly at the same point and also my t is one which means if i moved out i cannot move back in and that's the reason i have to return a false else uh, just finding the common portion common portion which means the minimum of x difference and y difference as we saw finding the common portion and then whatsoever extra i have either it can be in y or in uh, my x uh, just finding okay whatsoever is the extra portion either it can be in y or in x whatsoever is there just get that done and if that if that time which is hash t if this is less than equal to my t answer is always true because i can just roam around my entire grid and can increase my time and that would be feasible so that's how you can simply get this solved i hope that you guys got to see you in a bye bye